All right. Okay, so as usual, Arxis like negates my fucking content sometimes, but but it's actually it's actually good news for us because that means, I mean what what this means is we're getting a patch on uh, Friday. So of course I will not be attending Friday Night Far Slash this week because I'm gonna be fucking streaming the patch, of course. Yeah, it's Jacko. Everyone loves Jacko. But this is what we're really here for. We this is what we're really here for: the October game update. And uh, I was talking with a uh, with a friend the other day. I hope this is like the only big patch for a while because that that patch we got on um in August was a good patch despite them not doing a lot. They didn't really do too much. Just a lot of normal changes, a couple of special move changes. It was a pretty like tame patch. They didn't touch the game system at all. But this time they're going to do another character balance and they're going to change mechanic stuff. To start, um, what they said, right? So they didn't, they're not telling us everything until this week, but uh, they're changing FD, the input buffer, throw tech window. Those are like three things they're talking about. So let's, talk, let's look at them one seventh time. So with FD, I think they're going. What they're going to do is they're going to make it look more obvious that it's working. Because uh, a pretty common complaint about this game is that Faultless Defense doesn't do shit, which is not true. Faultless Defense does do shit, but in some matchups, you might not see how it affects things if you don't like study the matchup. So Soul is like the best example because uh, Soul they nerfed his far slash. And one of the things that they did is that when you Faultless Defense it, you just push them extra far. So it's not like he can't push his turn after you Faultless Defense one far slash, but he's not going to stay in your face forever. Like both you and the soul, it's really clear that you pushed him away significantly. In the previous patch, if you FD'd uh, soul's far slash, it affected a bunch of other options, but he could just far slash again. So if he did far slash again or 2k, then like you don't see that the false defense did something but if he picks anything else you're like oh he's all the way over there so uh, i think they're just going to do that for uh just across the board i don't know what it's gonna look like but i think it's uh that's the type of change they're going for where they really want it to feel like faultless defense is doing something for everybody for all skill levels not like not like the thing of versal where Oh, I know that if he presses any other button, he's going to be really far. But if he does far slash again, he's going to be in. It's going to be like just more. I really feel that FD just does nothing against some losing situations. It just makes you minus with less meter. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, application is really, really, really important. And, and like the pushback, I understand why the pushback is not as extreme as previous versions of Guilty Gear because like just less shit is plus. So like if you have people getting pushed for uh, full screen when they're trying to press on like minus three, minus four, uh, I think it's kind of rough. So I didn't think I didn't personally think they needed to do anything to faultless, but I can think of some ways they could change it without affecting the game too much. So I'm kind of interested in that one. Yeah, the thing about FD, man, so many people tell me they feel like FD doesn't do anything. And then, like, I'm like, man, like, FD is, like, the core of my, like, good FD usage is, like, the core of my defense. Because e cause the biggest thing is, uh, even if the opponent's follow-up attack can connect, they're just way further than they would be normally uh, if you apply it in the right spots. But and then for throw clashes, for throw attacks, they're going to increase the window. I think the window right now is five frames. Uh, if they make it bigger, uh, I wouldn't. They can't make it too much bigger, right? Uh, this one I'm kind of curious about. That that will that will bother a lot of boomers. If you had like a like a grand blue style throw tech. I, I uh, by the way, I could be just talking about out of my ass. By the way, I heard it was five frames. I emphasis on I heard. I don't actually know what it is, but I heard it was five frames. Uh, they're definitely gonna make the reversal timing easier. Apparently. It has the same uh, Windows Exert, three frames. So the character changes they got, they have uh, revising the startup time for their fastest normals. So by the way, everyone is like Milia, Faust, Anji, but what about Soul, right? You, you guys are you guys are thinking about the characters who have slow ass buttons. What about so Soul got a three frame 5K? Soul got a three frame 5K, bro. <laughs> two frame 5k you guys are fucking monsters the way counters work for area normals i had a chat uh with a friend about this too because there's two there's two things they could do there's two things they could do they can one make it so that some air buttons give you heavy counter hit two they can make the light counter hits be like medium counter hits on the ground and the medium counter hits be like heavy counters on the ground 
or a three, they can have just like a special weak counter hit for uh, air boosts. All of them are cool. Th this change, this change is the biggest hopium I have, by the way, because I I actually don't give a fuck about Milia's fastest button being six frames. I want I want Capital to lead into a full combo against gran grounded opponents, especially if I counter hit them. This is the this is the biggest hopium for me. This would be so sick. This would be so sick because and I talked about it a few times. People don't care about getting hit by that by that move. It pisses me off a lot. Uh, I do it anyway because I have to protect myself. But uh, if I can get a combo, that would be very nice. <laughs> that would be very nice. And if I get a combo into a mix-up, that would be even nicer because people need people just need to fucking know, bro. People need to know. So that's where all my hopium is. Uh, and then increase the number of moves that can be canceled in the jump or air dash. This is good for like everybody, basically, because. The things I was thinking about is like some characters, actually not some, most characters have at least one move where if your opponent blocks this normal, then you have like no option. Like all you have is like special cancel or nothing. So their characters have like minus five, five H's like Geo and Soul, so they don't really give a fuck. But there's some characters who got like minus eight, five H's and things like that. So uh, having a jump cancel option there so for example Milia's 2h used to be jump cancelable souls 2h used to be jump cancelable so like things like that that would be like a kind of nice thing uh i think most characters they have a ksh air dash cancel options right now correct me if i'm wrong Milia has kshd all air dash cancelable already and all those moves are jump cancelable too so uh, I, I just want to i wonder what they're gonna do let me get the notes let me get the notes and then so, they did not mention this, by the way, but they have non-battle in-game issues, right? So, they, they talked about the server thing, right? So, we got that dub. But, there's something they didn't mention that I am extremely curious, which is, are they going to change the PS4 delay? Because the, the PS4 Pro delay right now is at 2. PC, you can make 1. P PS4, they, no, sorry, PS5, they got it down to 4, right? And then PS4, they didn't touch, and that's 4. So, will they make the game faster again? Because they said they already said they're, they've, they're changing speeds of stuff from other characters. So, will they change the game speed? Will they change the game speed again? If they got PS4 to 2 frames and they're speeding everything up too, because they're already saying they're speeding up other shit in the game, by, by all means, let's go, bro. The ideal would be every console is 2. Every console being 2 would be lit. I'm not gonna lie, when I go to Sector X, so they play on PS4 Pro, I'm a little shook by it. It's not like a big deal. It's not the same as going from like PS4 to PC, but like I'm kind I'm low-key shook by it. Do you think the game should be one frame one delay? Okay. It's not really up to me. Generally, I all the only thing I'm concerned with is like whatever is at tournaments I wanna practice on. I think Street Fighter players push heavy like extra heavy for a PC, but I think it's just because of the type of game Street Fighter is and like how how much worse their delay was than ours. Because like Exert, Exert is also, this, this is why like I was always weirded out by like the delay discussion for this game. Exert was all, is four frames also. And like nobody has a problem playing that on a PS4. So I think it's just like newer players who are just like, they just heard one person be like PC is the best version and they just carry that. Because between Exert, PS4, PC, and Arcade, like, the main reason people played PC was because they had the ancient delay in that code. So you, you needed PC just to fucking netplay, basically. Some, pe some people were like, the game just has to be like super fast and they always wanted one to two frames. But if they do that, I want to make sure then that in the game that everyone has like 20, like 19 to 21 frame things to open people up. Because like, if the game's delay is one or two frames and all the tools to open people up are like 25 to 30 frames, then you're never going to hit anyone ever. <laughs> you're never, no one is going to get hit by anything ever. So uh, they they have to like make sure the game's frame data lines up with the delay. And and for a while, Arxis keeps doing like 20, like 24 frames, 24 frames, 24 frames for everything.